stop and see those. So if there's questions coming on, I will get to those. We'll leave a little bit of time at the end too for questions because sometimes I can't always see them and feel them right in the moment. But this is our women's health and hormones class. I was so honored that Judy asked me to be a part of it and to come in and be a guest in your tribe. This is a passion of mine, something that I love to talk about. And I think it's really good to just kick off with being aware because if we don't know where we are on the spectrum, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to assess and see where we need to focus on. So I love that we kick off with just this scale of one to 10, and one is no unwanted symptoms, and 10 is you're having out of control symptoms. Let's talk, how is your monthly cycle? And I want everybody to go ahead, there should be a tear pad, or you can grab a pen and paper, this is gonna be interactive. And go ahead and rate yourself. How is your monthly cycle? Or if you're in peri or post menopause, how are your symptoms? So let's rate yourself here. What's interesting is I heard an OB-GYN talk about and describe how your period is your fifth vital sign. And it's actually a gateway into a lot of what's going on with your health and wellness that we may not think about. So if we're having really painful periods or have heavy bleeding or different issues going on, it lets us know that there's some underlying hormonal issues and health issues that need to be addressed. And there are lots of areas for hormonal balance. And I want you guys to look at this and see if anything here is difficult for you. Are you having hyper or hypothyroid or symptoms of thyroid issues? And that could be gaining weight, especially around the middle. Maybe you're having hair that's falling out or maybe really brittle nails that are cracking all the time or you have cold hands and feet all the time or you just feel more sluggish. Those could be thyroid issues. Could also be an adrenal fatigue issue. So sometimes those go hand in hand. Adrenal fatigue issues are usually you crave sugar like crazy. You need to have a snack every one or two hours. You get hangry, you know what I'm talking about, when you're just like, oh my gosh, I need food or I'm gonna get really upset. You tend to catch every cold and flu that comes around because maybe you have more of a suppressed immune system. Maybe you're having difficulty losing weight or these mood swings or trouble sleeping, infertility, poor memory, type two diabetes. There's a lot of things that fall into hormonal health. And so go ahead and know any of those things too as we're talking, just to be aware as we go deeper into this subject here. And we're gonna talk about the female reproductive system and my background in physical therapy is actually pelvic floor physical therapy, so working with women's health. And this includes all of these things, the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, the uterus, the cervix, the external genitalia, breasts, and this all works closely with other systems, especially our endocrine system. And women have ovaries, they secrete estrogen and progesterone, and this is really crucial for fertility, but it also plays a key role in women's emotional and physical health. And nutrition and hydration actually really impacts the production of these hormones. Believe it or not, your ovaries love when you're really hydrated. It makes a difference, just like we know that hydration impacts other areas of our body, it impacts your ovary health and your hormonal health as well, which I think is fascinating. And we wanna come back to foundations and lifelong vitality are vitamins, minerals, these are supplements, this is our lifeline, to be honest. And it really creates that foundational nutrition to have optimal balancing of your hormones and your energy levels. And this is packed with antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, and energy cofactors. So Lifelong Vitality is three supplements. Most of you probably know this, your Microplex VMZ, that's your vitamins and minerals, your XC Omega, that's your omega-3 fatty acids, which are really important for hormonal health, brain health, joint health, and then Alpha CRS Plus. And what's interesting about Alpha CRS Plus is it's almost like a fire hose for inflammation. If any of you follow the medical medium, he talks about certain herbs and supplements that can help with inflammation, and a lot of those are in Alpha CRS Plus. And it's kind of the secret sauce, if you will, with lifelong vitality because just that supplement all by itself, Alpha CRS Plus, is I believe around $60.50, somewhere in there. It's almost as much as the entire lifelong vitality pack. If you purchase it all together, I think it's like $79.50. So 
that one supplement is almost as much as all of them combined. And it's for a reason. It's a really, really powerful supplement for anti-inflammatory. So when I think of lifelong vitality, yes, it helps with giving us our foundations for hormonal support, but also for energy, for pain and inflammation and for mood. So it does a lot. And honestly, even if we're eating the perfect diet, even if you're having all these wonderful green smoothies, our soil is depleted. The nutrients are not the same. It's very hard to get everything that you need, even if you're eating a really clean diet. And believe it or not, the essential oils will actually work better for you when your diet and nutrition and supplementation is on point. So this is key. If you're not already on Lifelong Vitality, I would highly, highly recommend that this would be a place where you start for your hormonal health, but overall health and wellness. It's really, really important. And then we have our bone nutrient. So this is available, it's bioavailable. And that's what's really cool about Lifelong Vitality Pack and this supplement is people say you are what you eat, you actually are what you absorb. <laughs> what's actually gonna be utilized by your body? And so the fact that it's bioavailable, and this can be for men and women too, for bone health, strength, overall health is really important. But especially if you're somebody with weak or fragile bones, or maybe you've had a history of bone fractures, or just growing, this is an incredible one. I will also say as a side note, and this is in a private group, right? So I can speak a little non-compliantly here. I think people like when I can do that. And I like when I can do that. So let's do it. With this, it's actually really great for headaches. So if you're somebody who struggles with chronic headaches or chronic migraines, this has magnesium, it's got your vitamin D, and what a lot of people will notice is when they add this with Lifelong Vitality Pack and they're taking that with consistency, it can help if you're somebody that struggles with chronic headaches or migraines. So just a side note, if that's you, I would highly recommend adding this in because it can make a really big difference. We have the phytoestrogen complex. So this is another really great one. This is a natural form of estrogen-like therapy, but it's not actually estrogen. And this is gonna help with balance. It can help if you have a deficiency, but also if you have an excess of harmful estrogen metabolites. So what I love about the essential oils and with the supplements is they're gonna bring balance. They're gonna bring that homeostasis in, and it's gonna to help to minimize any unwanted symptoms associated with your menstrual cycle. And this has different things in here. It's actually got a fermented soy extract that promotes healthy breast tissue, and it brings back balance to hormones in both men and women. But with this menstrual cycle issues, it's usually an excess of estrogen. So estrogen is the building up hormone. Think about like endometriosis, ovarian cysts, fibroids, that building up if we have too much estrogen. And so the body always wants to come back to homeostasis and back to a place of balance with that, which is really important. Okay, so Bobby says that she has, I think that's fibromyalgia and the alpha CRS sets me off sometimes. Oh yeah, okay, let's talk about this. So alpha CRS plus, if there's gonna be one thing in lifelong vitality, oops, let's go back, that is going to trigger people, it's usually alpha CRS plus because it's a big time detoxification. So what that's telling me is that your detoxification pathways aren't open up enough to be able to handle, handle alpha CRS plus. Alpha CRS plus is like a big guns. So if people, when they first start taking lifelong vitality pack and they're like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't know if my body can handle this or if they're noticing something, have them take out the alpha CRS plus, have them just continue with the microplex VMZ and the XC Omega. Make sure they're doing a citrus oil and water throughout the day, very high in limonene, very high in glutathione, but that's also gonna help to detoxify the body and terazyme. Terazyme, 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 the digestive enzyme. That is the answer to everything, <laughs> in my opinion. Take it with food, take it away from food. It's going to help with getting those enzymes going, with detoxifying the body. So that's telling me we need to do some gut healing and we need to do some big time detoxification and open up your detoxification pathways. And then, and it may take a while, this may be a process of maybe three months or maybe longer, and then you can add back in the Alpha CRS Plus, start slowly, and you can kind of notice how you're feeling. So that's really, really key and important, and be patient with yourself. Add that in slowly, and 
it's a process to be able to support your body's detoxification. Yeah, yeah, Natalie, it totally is. It's the answer for everything. Just terazyme. <laughs> Take your terazyme. So that's, that's a really good question. I wanted to address that. Okay, so we've got our supplements in here. We also have essential oils, of course, and rose is the queen of oils. And what you're going to notice is we're going to be talking about a lot of floral oils like rose. I hope I don't offend anybody. I'm a pelvic floor PT, so I speak pretty, pretty bluntly. But all of those flower oils, they look like a vulva. And anything that looks like our female anatomy, right, can actually be really helpful for our hormonal health. So think rose and lavender and jasmine and magnolia. All of these oils are really incredible. But rose is the queen. We love her. And so you can actually apply it over the heart. This helps with emotional balance. This is the oil of unconditional love. It can help to boost libido. It can help to promote promote more openness, more confidence, and you can actually put it on your lower abdomen for menstrual discomfort to help with regular ovulation. And again, there's so many oils that can help with menstrual discomfort. Again, think of those florals as feminine and helping with that. So think neroli, jasmine, any of these. Now, another point that I will say is the inside of your ankle bones. So we call it the medial malleoli, but the inside of your ankle bones on either side, you can roll your oils right there. And that's actually a point for uterine health. So if you're having cramping and I would say, yeah, roll your rose right over your lower abdomen, right over the uterus, but you can also roll it on the inside of your ankle bones as well. And that can be helpful too for, for menstrual cramps. So we love rose. Clary Calm, oh man, we call this the no throat punch oil in our oil tribe because <laughs> hormones are real and that can really affect you. I mean, I know growing up as a teenager, I was grounded once a month <laughs> because my cycle would come and I would just get a little more sassy and sometimes my mouth would fly and it was not always a good thing. So I wish I would have had Clary Calm and Lifelong Vitality Pack and all those things to support me as a teenager. But this is amazing. It's a blend. And this is going to work best for you daily, daily. And that's the big take home recommendation that I want to say with this one, because yes, we bring it out when we're having PMS or heavy periods or hot flashes, but I want you to think about your essential oils and lifelong vitality, like anything in your life. It's going to work better for you when you're using it with consistency, when you're taking it every day. And that's why we make these daily habits. So put the Clary Calm, buy your toothbrush, buy, link it to habits that you already have. I keep my lifelong vitality pack right out on my kitchen counter. So I see it first thing and I've got my citrus oils right there. All of my supplements are there, but this is really nice for hormonal balancing, for heavy periods, for PMS, for cramping, for hot flashes, for mood swings, I would even say for infertility. Again, rolling it, you can just do a swipe along the panty line, so that lower abdomen area, but also the inside of those ankle bones and use it daily with consistency. One of my sweet oilers, she said, Laura, the only change that I did, I decided for 30 days, I was gonna use Clary Calm with consistency and she said my whole period changed. I didn't have any PMS. I didn't have any heavy bleeding or cramping. It made a huge difference for her. So this is something to try and use with consistency. And the cool thing about the oil, sometimes I'll have people kind of freak out a little bit like, oh, I have high estrogen. You know, is this going to bring it down? Or, oh, my progesterone's low. The oils bring homeostasis. They bring balance. So whether you're having an estrogen issue or progesterone issue, that's what I love about the oils, is they know what our body needs and they're gonna come in and bring balance with that, which is really cool. The body knows. So here we have our endocrine system, which is pretty cool. So this is directly involved in a lot of things in our body, right? Growth and development and metabolism, nutrient regulation, overall homeostasis here. It's a system of glands and they produce and send hormones to targeted organs and tissues through our circulatory system. And the essential oils can be really beneficial since they're circulated in the same way. And they have profound benefit to the cells that they encounter. So they work on that cellular level. They're absorbed into our bloodstream. So we can use things to support our liver health. Because again, the liver is what's filtering out and helping with that, especially if maybe we have really high estrogen. The liver can help with that estrogen, estrogen detoxification, right? 
So healthy liver function is really important and it's gonna help with hormonal balance. So again, drinking plenty of water with a citrus oil, lemon or slim and sassy. I love slim and sassy because it helps with that insulin balance or blood sugar, which is really powerful or any, any citrus oil you love. Maybe that's tangerine, maybe that's grapefruit, choose your own adventure, put a citrus oil in your water and do that with consistency. Taking one Zendocrine soft gel daily. We know that Zendocrine helps with that detoxification. It's great for liver support. Or if you have the Zendocrine complex, because we just got that back recently, you could do that as well. Those are great. For your pancreas, we have one to three Slim and Sassy soft gels, because again, it's gonna be helping with normalizing that blood sugar balance in the body, helping to support your metabolism, regulating your body's blood sugar, and just releasing excess water. Because we have cinnamon, which is an amazing oil for blood sugar balance, as well as grapefruit in the Slim and Sassy blend, which helps with water retention and bloat. So it's a powerhouse. I'll say when I first started with Slim and Sassy and I put in my water, it wasn't a huge fan and I would have to add extra wild orange to be able to like it a little more, but it grows on you. Your taste buds will adapt to things. And now I love Slim and Sassy just by itself in water, but it's a good one. Caring for your adrenals because adrenal fatigue or insufficiency is a real thing. So you can do magnolia, apply that to your adrenals twice a day. Magnolia is my jam. Just for stress, I love this oil so much. Very high in linalol, higher than even lavender with linalol. Or you can take two capsules of the Mito2 Max twice a day. These have adaptogenic herbs like cordyceps, ashwagandha, things that are going to really help to support your adrenals. Another tip that's not on here is elevation. That oil is a great oil for adrenal support and health too. And you can actually just apply it right over the adrenals. The adrenals are located over your kidneys. So that lower flank area on either side, you can just apply on either side right there to that area and give your adrenals a little bit of love and support with that. And then thyroid health, because this is really important too. You can really support your thyroid. There's essential oils to help with that, like clove, myrrh, frankincense, and lemongrass. And this actually recommends a roller. So in a 10 ml roller, you can do 10 drops each of those oils, clove, myrrh, frankincense, and lemongrass. Top with your fractionated coconut oil and just apply it to the thyroid right here over the neck. And you can do that three times per day. So that's very important. I'd also say as far as nutrition with thyroid health, eliminating gluten, dairy, and sugar. Gluten, actually, when we eat gluten, it can create an antibody that actually attacks the thyroid. So if you're having symptoms of thyroid issues or you you're, have a thyroid situation, I would highly recommend, at a minimum, com completely going gluten-free. It can make a really, really big difference, especially with antibodies or if you're dealing with a Hashimoto's condition, which is an autoimmune condition of the thyroid, that can make a big, big difference. I will say, too, as a side note, a lot, oftentimes hypothyroidism is also the autoimmune condition, the Hashimoto's. And when we look at the thyroid and the throat, it's this being able to speak our truth. So I would say emotionally, maybe even pull in oils like lavender, the oil of communication or spearmint and apply that topically. You can even add that to that roller to help you speak your truth. Because what I notice in my private health coaching practices, autoimmune, specifically thyroid, these are individuals that really struggle to speak their truth. Either they feel like they're being shut down by other people or that it's not safe to speak their truth. So that's something to kind of look at too, just as a side note with thyroid health. So we have our endocrine system again. We've got all kinds of things happening here. We've got the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, the thyroid and parathyroid glands, our thymus, pancreas, adrenals, ovaries, testicles in the guys, and then the placenta during pregnancy, lots of things that can affect our hormones through this endocrine system. And this is involved in growth and development and metabolism, nutrient regulation, and overall homeostasis in the body, right? Bringing balance with everything. And this is a system of glands and it produces and sends hormones to those targeted organs and tissue through that circulatory system. And again, we mentioned how the oils can be really beneficial because they're circulated in the same way and they work at that cellular level to really help and support us. So I think it's amazing that we can use oils and it can help us in a lot of different ways to help with us. So diving in a little bit deeper, we talked about this, but just kind of a quick overview, or if you want to screenshot anything for the liver, 
water and, and your citrus oils. We should be doing this daily throughout the day. And Zendocrine. Zendocrine's a powerhouse. So this has cilantro in it, which helps with detoxifying heavy metals. It's got juniper berry, great for kidney and liver support. So basically think filter organs. Zendocrine's going to really help detoxify that. I how I got into oils, I actually was diagnosed with a rare sarcoma called a desmoid tumor in my abdominal wall. And I completely changed my diet and started using essential oils. I'm blessed to say it's been nine years and I'm cancer free after I had the surgery to remove that tumor. But I actually go back to MD Anderson Cancer Center this weekend for scans. I get annual scans there. And one of the things that they do is IV contrast in the scans. If you've ever had that done, I just feel kind of icky, right? They're putting stuff in your body that's going to show up on imaging. And so I will take Zendocrine soft gels, put Zendocrine oil over my liver, which is right on the right side under the rib cage here, liver, and I'll do a detox bath with Zendocrine essential oil. So anytime that you really need to support, because with that contrast, I really want to support my kidneys and liver to filter all of that out. So that's a good little tip too. Or if you've ever accidentally been glutened and you're sensitive to gluten, Zendocrine and Terrazyme uh, is really, really good to kind of flush some of that out. Okay, pancreas support. We talked about our Slim and Sassy. Just one to three soft gels, and you can do that to support your metabolism, blood sugar levels, release excess water. Maybe you're dealing with PCOS or ovarian cysts. This could be a nice one to add in too because of the blood sugar balancing that's going on with that. And then adrenal health. We talked about this too. I love Mito2 Max. That's a really beautiful supplement to take to just give you a little bit of a boost, but honestly support your adrenals. And this doesn't have any caffeine. It doesn't have any stimulants, anything like that. And using your Magnolia or I really love Elevation too. It's my jam for adrenal support. And thyroid health. So there we go. We can screenshot this and use that um, as well. Because thyroid health is, is really key. And what's interesting is we have thyroid receptors on every single cell in our body, which is why when your thyroid is off, you notice it systemically, right? You may notice you just feel tired and your hair starts falling out and your nails and all of these things. And just as a side note with thyroid health, you really want to make sure that your vitamin D levels are optimized. Vitamin D is a hormone and your thyroid cannot heal if your vitamin D levels are low. And there is vitamin D in Lifelong Vitality Pack and the bone nutrient. Some people have a genetic SNP and you may need a little bit more or if it's winter time and you're not getting a lot of sunlight or exposure, maybe you need to take a little bit more with that. So I always recommend people go to their doctor and get your vitamin D levels checked. Now, most traditional Western medicine will tell you if it's around 30, you're good, you know, 30 to 50. I look at things from a functional nutrition standpoint, which means the average is they take the average person and they go, okay, what, what is good here? Okay, we're going to put our ranges there. But I don't know about you. I don't want to feel like the average person. I want to feel like the average people that are thriving, right? So those are functional nutrition levels and what we look at. And from a functional perspective, we like to see vitamin D levels between 75 to 100. We want them to be on a higher level there. Now it is a fat soluble vitamin. You can get toxic at high levels. So this is why you want to go to your doctor. You want to get it checked. You want to kind of see where your baseline is. And then if you're going to start supplementing with that, retesting every four to six weeks to see where you're at with that. So it's a little thyroid vitamin D tip. Okay, so this is an example of your wellness box. So we use our loyalty orders, right? This is basically our natural health care that we use. I love this. It comes right to my door. And so this is $139.50. It's 125 points or PV. And this is going to be your Clary Calm to help with that hormonal balance, your rose oil. And I will say too, all of these oils work really well to replace perfumes. If you're going to do one thing as a woman for your health and wellness, ditch the synthetic fragrances, ditch the perfume. Those are really toxic. We don't even want to put those in our body. Just use your essential oils. And this also has your phytoestrogen and your bone nutrient with this. So you're going to get your free oil of the month. This month it was the Raven Sarah. Oh my gosh, are y'all loving that they're giving us these beautiful unicorn oils that we can't purchase? It's the best. I was so excited. This one smells so good. I've just been keeping it by my computer and like huffing it throughout the day because it's so good. And then you get product credits. So you actually get points back 
to purchase more oils, it's, it's magical, which is pretty incredible. So this is an example of how you could start to implement some of these things, put some things on your wish list to get in your monthly wellness box from doTERRA. And then there are some Symphony of the Cells protocols. So I don't know if y'all have heard of Boyd Truman and his work with Symphony of the Cells. He is amazing. And Symphony of the Cells really is, it's a spinal technique and it's a collection of massage protocols formulated to create harmony physically, emotionally, and spiritually within the body. And each protocol is specific to a system. So there's digestive protocols, lymphatic protocols, there's a hormone protocol, there's even a forgiveness protocol, and you can use lots of different things. So I had the honor of attending his training at this last convention in September. And all I have to say is get to a Boyd Truman Symphony of the Cells training, do it. It's amazing, it's so good. And he has this book, so you can purchase this online, you can go to Symphony of the Cells and get it, and the website's right there on the slide. But this is really powerful. This will change your life. These are protocols. And so for the hormone protocol that we have here, and you can't do this wrong. Now you can do this on yourself if you have to. It's a little bit harder to put oils on your back, but you can do it, right? You can, wherever you can reach, low back. But if you have somebody to do this for you, it's really powerful. So what you're going to do, actually follow the little images and the little icons and you start with just putting fractionated coconut oil all across the back neck shoulders and then you do two to three drops of each of the following oils and you just rub it in so for example we start with frankincense and frankincense is there for a reason because it builds that connection between the person that you're doing it because both the person giving the symphony of the cells application receives benefit from the oils aromatically and then the person receiving it is right getting the topical application of the oils frankincense also is an oil that helps with shielding so you're not taking on other people's energy and vice versa when we're doing work with this so he starts everything with frankincense and you can see he actually puts frankincense on the shoulders and the neck that's what that little icon is so shoulders and neck nose means you're going to inhale it so do that big palm inhale and then bottoms of the feet cover all the bottoms of the feet because of that reflexology system right especially big toe but get the whole bottoms of the foot so you're gonna put your fractionated coconut oil on do the whole back and it doesn't matter he was saying do we have to do it clockwise or counterclockwise no boy just literally flings oils on people and puts on he's like just get oils on people it doesn't matter <laughs> just put oils on people so then time you're gonna put that all across the back you're gonna let them inhale for a couple deep breaths and put it on the bottoms of the feet and you're gonna follow that same protocol with ginger clary sage grapefruit, Roman chamomile, ylang ylang, lavender, and Siberian fir. This does not take long, maybe six minutes. It's really quick. And you're gonna see the best benefit with this is doing it consistently three times a week for about three months, especially if you're dealing with some really serious hormonal things, right? Now, what was interesting that Boyd said is most people will not do this with consistency long enough, but the people that do, it is life-changing. On your days off, because if we're doing this three times a week, on the days that you don't do this, you choose three oils in this list and you take them internally in a veggie capsule, and that's really powerful too. Oh, thank you, Natalie. <laughs> That's so kind. I'm glad that you're finding value from this. I get really excited. Can you tell that I love to talk about this stuff? It's so cool. But this is amazing. And I'll just say, Boyd Truman's trainings are incredible. They're completely non-compliant, which I love. And he has before and after pictures of different protocols with people that will blow your mind. And it, it was for me, it was about remembering how powerful our essential oils are and also take oils internally. He's like, I don't think we're using internal oils internally enough. So using that, making your capsules, right? Making your own natural concoctions and taking those is really powerful. Okay. I think I'm done with my part. If anybody has any questions, you can type them in the chat. Oh dear. Sorry, Judy. I'm like <laughs> taking over. Let me I actually, I mean, Laura, like, like, um, Natalie said, we can listen to you all day. It's such a treat to have you. I would love to ask a question and I can't believe I'm going to be 40 years old in a few weeks and I've never gotten hormone testing. How do you suggest we get this done? Like I've been reading a little bit of um, 
Marisa Snyder's book where she like introduces her book that way. Like she offers a website where you can go, but you know, I do, I go to a, a modern medical regular doctor. I need to find a function. Like, can you move to LA please? Laura? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to I actually mean, love California. <laughs> maybe I can fly out to Texas every once in a while, but how do you suggest us going about that? Um, to get hormone testing done? Oh, this is such a great question. And honestly, it's a little bit complicated because I truly feel like you got to find somebody who understands hormones and also takes a functional approach. So my recommendation is to find a functional medicine doctor, somebody who understands what's going on and is looking at this because Hormone testing is important, but say you have, not that Western medicine is bad, right? But this has just been my experience with having a lot of random health issues and things come up. They're going to check, maybe they're going to do blood test levels, right? And, and see where you're at. And it's like a screenshot in time. When you're testing hormones, it's like, boom, okay, here's where we're at. But we know that a blood test can be a little bit different than like, say, salivary cortisol test that can tell me more about adrenal issues and adrenal insufficiency. And it also is important to actually know where you are on your cycle. If you're still menstruating, like, are you, because we need to know what's happening. Are you in the luteal phase? Like what's going on with your, because we could look again, it's a screenshot in time and we can see one area of your cycle and we could go, oh, you know what? Your estrogen and progesterone is a little low, but maybe it's part of the cycle that it's supposed to be. So I like when we take a comprehensive approach and like my functional medicine doctor, we did blood testing and hormone testing. We also did salivary testing and then we did urine testing where it was specific with where I was in my cycle. And so that I like, you can kind of get into more detail, but you really have to be working with somebody that understands hormones and understands where you're at. Uh, and I, it's been my experience, and maybe you can find a good Western medicine doctor that does that. I just, I can just say from my own personal experience that it's been finding a functional medicine doctor. So I'm going to type in some links into the Zoom chat that can help you to find somebody local to you that can support you with that. There are some hormone testing like ZRT labs, I think is one that you can do like cortisol testing and adrenal testing and send it off. But ideally, if we can bring somebody in, and since I'm a health coach, I can't actually order labs. It's, it's out of my scope, even as a PT. But I work in conjunction with like, help somebody find a functional medicine doctor, let's get the labs and then we can kind of look at it together. And then I can give advice from a nutritional standpoint and lifestyle changes. And, and sometimes that means maybe bioidentical hormone supplementation for a while. But I think we have to figure out like, what's the underlying root cause? It's not that somebody is deficient in progesterone. It's something that's going on in their life. Maybe that's environmental toxins, maybe that's stress, maybe that's lack of sleep, maybe those are nutritional things. So kind of digging a little bit deeper. So supplementation can be helpful and I'm for bioidentical hormones and using the essential oils and nutritional changes too, but getting to that underlying root issue. Like if somebody hates their job, I don't care how many green smoothies or whatever they're taking until they probably make steps for that. We're not going to see some some major changes there. So it's a really good question. I think it's a little bit complicated. I wish it was more simple to just be like, oh, boom, boom, boom. But I think you have to partner with the right person. You have to dive a little bit deeper into some of that um, because so much of the hormones actually goes back to gut health and looking at that too. I love holistic health. And that's why I love functional medicine doctors because they look at the whole person from top to bottom to really dive deeper with some of that. I love your emphasis, even throughout your presentation today, the awareness of emotional things going on, like like your link with um, hypothyroid or like thyroid issues and, and, and Hashimoto's linked to maybe speaking their truth. And we know that lavender is the oil, right, of expression and communication. So it's so important for us to be aware not only of what's going on physically. And, and I was like jotting down, I'm like, I got to rewatch this because like, my hands are always freezing and feet are always cold, always. Like my husband's like, do you, are you alive? <laughs> like, do you have circulation? So just things that I'm mental noting that, and, and I do, I, I crash at times where, but like, I'm not good about doing the Mito2 Max. I need to, like, these were such great reminders of the tools we have at our disposal 
um, and being consistent. But I mean, so many takeaways. And I think I love that, that we have to be aware of the emotional things going on and how that's affecting our physical manifestations, right? I mean, when I got my shoulder injury, um, someone brought that up. What's the name of that book? Um, where the physical manifestations of emotions. Um, oh yeah, I have two that I love. Uh, the You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hayes. She has two yes. that are really yes. good. And then there's another one. If you want to dive deeper. Okay, let me show you this. Does um, anyone, if you guys know the chat, it's stuff. <laughs> oh, feelings, feelings it's really live, never uh, die. Louise Hayes has another book. It's like a cliff note version that's probably on here somewhere, but this also has it. The You Can Heal Your Life, really good book. Um, okay. But and this, what do you think? What do you, okay. So, so this is the healing questions guide. This is by okay. Wendy Jensen. This is like, this is the cliff note version. This is like, whoa, because she goes through. So say you have like shoulder pain. She'll go through and she'll have questions for, is it right shoulder pain? Is it left shoulder pain? And I like the questions because you can dive a little bit deeper. Oh yeah, there's, yeah, feelings, feelings buried. buried alive. Um, that's actually by his mom. Yeah, Carol Truman. Yeah, uh, very good one too. All the, all the same. And this, this is like deep, like thick and it's flagged. <laughs> <laughs> You've done some self-evaluation, girl. <laughs> and I'm sure you're, bl you're helping, I mean, so many women um, along with what you do. Right? And so it's powerful. And if I was to sum up with just a few things, one, you're not your labs. You're a person, not a lab test. So yes, the testing is helpful and it's good to get baselines, but if you don't feel good, you need to be working with a functional medicine doctor that say, even if labs come back normal, we still need to dive deeper. You know, maybe there's an underlying infection or gut issue. This can all contribute to hormonal stuff too, right? And then I really believe in the foundational pillars of health. So nutrition's a piece, stress management, is a piece looking at that. And I would even throw relationships into that. How are your relationships with you, with other people? Is there unforgiveness going on? All of that stuff. Sleep, huge. Oh my gosh. If anybody has any chronic health issues, like we got to get you sleeping better first and foremost. That's really, really important. And then movement, mindful movement, something fun that you actually enjoy, not looking at exercise as punishment and finding some type of joy and fun in life. I believe that's just as important as the nutrition. Like, what did you love to do as a child? What are you doing for fun? And, and bring more of that into your life. Don't you want her on speed dial, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> we want to do you, Laura. But I, you have given us all a gift today. And there's stuff coming up in Facebook. Uh, Megan says, so many wonderful takeaways. Definitely getting back into regularly using more of your floral oils, more nutrient love 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 symphony of the spell so um thank you thank you oh my gosh you, it's my pleasure so much and um i know we're gonna have this you know we'll, we'll post the recording and if anyone has questions maybe we can bug you um down the line if there's any pressing questions but you guys this concludes our portion of continuing ed um 